Hi, I'm Kristen Lang and I'm going to share with you my experience of learning to paint by numbers. Prior to this, I already enjoyed colouring in, but wanted to further develop these skills. I related this to Edward Decky and Richard Ryan's humanistic theory of self-determination. You could say I had an intrinsic motivation to self-initiate this learning experience and master a new skill. So off to Kmart I went to purchase a paint by numbers kit. They had so many to choose from, but I thought this pack seemed good for a beginner. I decided to just jump straight in and give it a go. My hands felt quite shaky, which resulted in me making a few mistakes. I painted outside of the lines a few times and couldn't quite master the finer details, but I kept going. Probably a bit longer than I should have really. I needed some guidance. Whilst I was painting, I started to think about how my learning experience could be related back to Lev Vygotsky's theory of the zone of proximal development. I realised I needed the help of a more knowledgeable other. I needed some guidance from someone that was already more skillful than me at painting. I already knew what I could do without any help, but I wanted to see how far I could get with some help and guidance. So I decided to watch some YouTube to see the technique and where I might be able to improve. Bob Ross was my initial inspiration and in this scenario he could be referred to as the more knowledgeable other. However I soon realised that his skill set was far beyond what I was aiming for. So I then started watching some tutorials on paint by numbers for beginners and found this quite helpful. Unfortunately, my painting skills didn't really improve all that much after watching some YouTube, but when I thought about Carol Dweck's growth mindset, this only made me eager to try again and refine my skills further. Along the way, I was evaluating my own work and what was or was not working well. I identified areas where I can improve and was excited by the challenge of this for my future attempts. Upon reflection, I do think I should have sought out some help a bit earlier on and this is something I need to be mindful of when I'm a teacher. Not only for when I might be struggling with something, but also when my students might be. I think it's also important to ensure my future students are aware that it's okay to make mistakes. We all do and we learn from them.